bright beauty every student matters now in the solenoid we just saw that there are a large number of turns of an insulated copper wire connected to a cell or battery and the current is allowed to pass on it right pass in it so this is the amount of current going direction also what we do is if this is an empty or hollow coil right what i'll do is i will just insert a iron rod into it right there are two ways of saying this thing one is in this solenoid i just inserted an iron rod or i can also say that i have taken an iron rod and then i just turned these coil turns on this particular iron rod and connected into connected to a cell now what will happen is when i will switch on the current this iron rod will become a magnet and will attract some pieces of iron nails or something if we are keeping it over here as an activity fine so when i switch on the current the magnetic field was produced by the coil of the solenoid that magnetism is basically taken up by this soft iron or iron rod right and this iron rod becomes a magnet this iron rod which is taken and placed inside is also known as the core material right so in this case we have taken an iron rod fine important thing is when i will switch off the current then the nails which actually got stuck to this iron rod because it became a magnet these nails will once again come down showing that this is basically behaving as a magnet only the time when the current was switched on right that means the bar uh, this particular iron rod will behave as a magnet only till the time the current is switched on the moment current is switched off the magnetic effect it will lose all the magnetic effect this iron rod is basically called as temporary magnet it behaved as a magnet but temporarily till the time the current was passed into it right fine so this is the concept of our temporary magnets fine but if instead of taking iron rod i take a steel rod now the difference is the moment i'll switch it on the current then this steel rod now this is a steel rod okay this steel rod will also become a magnet and will attract the pieces of iron towards it right but even after switching it off it remains a magnet why because now by taking the core material to be steel we have converted it in a permanent magnet and why this has become a permanent magnet because there is a difference between the properties of iron rod and steel rod iron rod absorbed the magnetism by the time the switch was on and the moment the magnetism is lost it loses all its magnetism too but the steel rod once it gains the magnetism it doesn't lose it that is why now even after the switch is off the magnetic effect still remains and now this is converted into a permanent magnet this is how all the permanent magnets are made by taking a steel rod as the core material and these are the bar magnets that we normally see right in our labs the magnets that we have seen till now they are not connected to any wire or something like that they are magnets that means they are permanent magnets they are not actually requiring electricity to get their magnetism fine now there is a basic difference between these temporary magnets and these bar magnets these temporary magnets 
are also termed as electromagnets. They are termed as electromagnets because they are made magnets due to electricity and second is our bar magnets. What is the difference between the two? As we see, the electromagnets are temporary magnets. They are magnets only till the electricity is switched on whereas bar magnets are permanent magnets. Even after electricity is switched off, not passing, the magnetism still remains. The second difference between them is importantly why it has happened because of the core material. We have taken in electromagnets soft iron core. There are different varieties of iron, soft iron, pig iron, cast iron. Among these varieties, soft iron has the best ability to become electromagnets with a stronger magnetic field. Whereas in bar magnets or permanent magnets, we have taken a steel core or some alloys are also taken for making bar magnets. The third important difference is these electromagnets, they create a strong magnetic field. Whereas here comparatively weak magnetic field is produced. Now, in electromagnets, the strength of magnetic field may be altered, it may be changed, it may be increased, it may be decreased simply by increasing or decreasing the amount of current. Every time we pass a different amount of current, we will get a different strength of magnetic field, but this is not the case with bar magnets. Their strength is fixed because once they are made, the strength of magnetic field remains same. Right? There is one more difference between electromagnets and bar magnets. That is, in case of electromagnets, the polarity can be changed. Polarity means the north pole and the south pole because this north and south pole, they are dependent on basically the direction of current. So, by changing the direction of current, we can change the north and the south poles of the electromagnets. But once again, this is not the case with bar magnets, their polarity can't be changed. We cannot change once one north and one south pole is formed in a bar magnet, the polarity can't be changed. We cannot change it. Right? So, these are a few differences between electromagnets and bar magnets. Fine. In both the cases, if we talk about, once again, the factors affecting the strength of magnetic field produced by an electromagnet. If I talk about that, there are certain factors. First factors as it has always been is the amount of current. The magnetic field is as usual directly proportional to the amount of current, the more will be the amount of current, the stronger magnetic field will be produced. The second factor is, as in the case of solenoids, of course, the number of turns in the coil. The magnetic field is directly proportional to the number of turns in the coil. Got it? There is one more factor here. Third factor is, that is, nature of core material. What type of core material we are taking? I have told you that soft iron core is considered to be best because it produces the strongest magnetic field. Otherwise, there are different other core materials also which may be taken. So, these are the three factors which affect the strength of magnetic field 
produced by an electromagnet fine to sum up students whatever you have studied today let us sum up we have seen the factors affecting strength of the magnetic field produced by we have seen it in different cases let us see all together first case was produced by a straight current carrying conductor we are taking it in a straight current carrying conductor second we took in the form of circular current carrying conductor circular current carrying conductor then we talked about solenoids and we talked about electro magnets right these four things we talk about now what were the factors let us see first case it was the amount of current right second case was the distance from the wire these were the two factors on which the straight current carrying conductor producing magnetic field that was dependent in case of circular ones we saw first factor same amount of current but the second factor was radius of the wire right the more is the radius the lesser will be the magnetic field strength in the case of solenoid we studied first of course the amount of current and the second factor was number of turns the amount of current in all the cases it was directly proportional number of turns here it is directly proportional to in the case of electromagnets we saw that the first is the amount of current that decides the second is the number of turns in the wire and there is a third factor also in this electromagnet case that is the nature of core material taken so this is a brief summary of what all we did in this you need to learn very importantly the maxwell's right hand thumb rule or the corkscrew rule that we studied the clock rule that we studied and importantly importantly solenoids and the figure and diagram of solenoid got it i hope you have understood this all please go through it properly and thoroughly and try to relate it thank you so much